In this lesson, I'm going to talk about surveys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a survey and then I'm going to present the survey and show you what it looks like from the attendee point of view. So first things first, I am in a seating. And the seating already has a few slides, but now I want to add a survey. Anytime you want to add any content to your seating, click this content, add content button at the top or choose this big plus sign here. All right, we've selected it, and now you can see you're in the Add Content page, and there's a bunch of different types of content you can add, but we're going to create a survey. Now, surveys are a great way to gather private feedback about your meeting, event, training session, or really any time you bring people together. I also must mention that this is a premium feature, which requires you to upgrade. So. I'm going to go ahead and create the instructions for the participants, which you see here. So I want participants to please leave any feedback about our event today. Great. So that's where you want to add in what you would like the attendees to fill out. And then down here, you'll see the, the fields that you can select for the participants to complete. Um, and keep in mind that when you do check these, it is required by attendees to complete that before they can actually submit their response. So I'm actually going to get rid of the email and just require the name and then the feedback comments from the day. Now going down here, you'll see that we have the options. You can change the background color. So you can either choose a color we have here by dragging and dropping, and, or you can type in the hex code that you would like to, for a specific branded color. Great. Now let's create it. And you'll see that it goes to the end of the deck. And what you can do is you can drag and drop. So maybe I want to drag it over here, have feedback, and then show images of the day. Great. So now we have that our, our survey in place. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like from the attendee perspective. Great. So on the right-hand side, I have a phone. And what I'm going to do is choose Safari. And then on the left-hand side from the presenter screen, I'm going to click on present. And remember, anytime you're presenting, you need to provide your audience with this presentation link. So I'm going to copy that and paste it. Great. It says I'm off air, but as soon as I start presenting, you'll see it'll pull the attendees into the presentation in real time. So I have this first slide, and now I'm going to proceed to the survey. And on the right-hand side, you'll see, please leave the feedback about our event today. So type in the name, or my name, Chelsea Colley. And I'm going to say it was such an inspiring experience, but the food could have been better. Great. So on the left-hand side, you'll see that it just has the, the instructions for the attendees on the screen. And these comments from the attendees will actually never be displayed. So you can submit. And from the presentation point of view, I can go find those responses in my analytics. So now I'm going to stop presenting. Great. And the presentation. And in order to go find this feedback, all you simply do is go up to Analytics. And this will show you how many times you presented it, the responses, and the participants. Now let's go in and look at the responses. And you can drop down and you can see, okay, Chelsea, this was the feedback she gave about today. Additionally, you can export this out to a CSV or an Excel. 
Great, so that is our surveys. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you in other Z-Eatings tutor tutorials.